referee going for his little but once again as Fergusheim brought Martinburg heavily to the ground there. So Fergus also gets into the referee's book. From that challenge, and uh, he leaves the ball down to uh, Brendan Neary. Brendan Neary is about to take this uh, kick for Alfin, which he does. Gets down there into Brady, gets his head to the ball. In fact, he gets the ball, but he's in a bit of difficulty on the ground as he gets up. Uh, he's holding on to it now. He hops the ball, makes a bit of room for himself, and he gets it out for Brian Higgins. Brian Higgins uh, foraging out the for Alfin. Uh, hops the ball twice. He appears to be fouled uh, by the Fanny uh, number 12. Fanny number 12 is David Henry, and uh, this will be free for Elfin from uh, inside 45, maybe about 35 yards out from goal. And Brassa Callahan placing the ball very carefully once more. And seven and thin four, just three points between the sides. Well, 13 minutes gone in the second half. Vasa kicks this one in. He kicks it in and he kicks it out. He puts it back off the post and uh, David Tansy got the ball in and fisted uh, it over the bar. But the referee judged that he was inside of the square, which uh, is hard to picture seeing the ball came back off the post. And that's all has been disallowed. Attention indeed uh, from the uh, Fine Gale. I said for the final well, It is an opportunity for Elfin to narrow this gap. side of the field. Uh, Daniel Herney gets it for Hannah Gale, catching the ball well, makes some ground up a lot, he's still going with the ball. Uh, he feeds it in then as far as number 12, number 12 is David Henry. David Henry, uh, the ball comes across now to uh, number 9, that's uh, Nocton, Patrick Nocton. Uh, he kicks the ball uh, sort of diagonally across the field here and it comes to uh, number 10, that's Sherlock. Uh, he gets it in as far as Fergal Shine, Fergal Shine uh, being uh, marked there by Martin Burke. Fergal Shine gets a bit of space from south, feeds it in there, uh, it goes to Ian and Gavin, Ian and Gavin in a very tight corner, but he gets it uh, across the goal there, and the Clanny Gale man has it, and the Clanny Gale man kicks it, and he kicks it over the bar, and I think that's full forward Martin Tina again, who kicks that one over, uh, that's his uh, third point of the day, as Clanny Gale once again we establish the three-point lead, every time it's narrowed to two, they seem to manage to pull out another one, and keep the margin that little bit more safe at three. Eight points to five, Clanny Gale leading. Brian Morgan wants to face the ball again. And the sun beaming down here in Hyde Park. Ball comes towards Brenton Neary. Brenton Neary uh, gets the ball. But then uh, he loses it. He loses it to the uh, midfielder for Clan there, number eight, David Kelly. The ball goes in between backs and forwards. Very well taken by Martin Keena. Martin Keena has the ball and Martin Keena kicks it over the bar. And this is turning into a bit of a one-man show for Martin Keena uh, of uh, Fanny Gale, who uh, did very, very well on that occasion. Uh, caught the ball in a cluster of players, found space for himself and his finishing was deadly accurate. And now there's a margin of four points between the sides as Fanny Gale lead by nine points to five. 
And the Elfin comeback would need to start pretty soon. Spread out, give him space. Mark, trying it over the far side this time. Ross O'Callaghan goes up for it, uh, gets his hand to the ball, but he uh, loses it when he comes down. But uh, the ball is with uh, Chris Roddy. Chris Roddy hasn't a lot of space, but he makes a bit of space for himself. And uh, he, then he gets a free, as uh, the and again, men converge on him. A free from the very centre of the field for Al Finn. Ross O'Callaghan looks like he's going to take this one. Plays it out towards Liam Butler. Liam has been quite so far in this game. He plays it back to Callaghan. Uh, Callaghan uh, has been uh, chased by uh, Ian Gavin. He has the ball. The ball is on the ground. There are uh, two men uh, chasing for it with him. Uh, the referee decides eventually that Callaghan touches the ball on the ground and he wears a clear out to Danny Gale. Mr. Callaghan, according to the ref, the referee, obviously, agree with that uh, decision of Seamus Regan and a little more about it. And uh, Seamus Regan is adding the name of Russell Callaghan to his group. <laughs> Brendan Neary on the ball for El Finn. Lofting it down towards Liam Butler's corner. But uh, coming out of his number four, and that's uh, Dennis Gavin for Tanny Gale. Dennis is fouled, and it's a free out for Tanny Gale. Looking forward, getting very little change from the Tanny Gale counterparts as the ball comes to uh, Sherlock for Tanny Gale. And he sends the ball in, and goes past the full back and the full forward. And uh, Brian Morgan was going to let it go wide. In fact, it is gone wide, and it's a free out for Elfin. Kick out from their own goals as Liam Dockery warms up on the Elfin sideline. Taking his instructions from Chair Rourke, he'll be about to enter the fray at any moment now. Kick out from Mark, comes out there. Uh, Enon Gavin rising high for this one. Uh, takes the ball well, then turns, finds a bit of room for himself, gets it across as far as midfielder Nocton. Nocton uh, sends it with more height than length to this one as it, it comes in and uh, Brendan Neary uh, intercepts. Brendan Neary coming out with the ball for Elfin, uh, looking up, he'd want to get rid of it pretty soon or he'll put himself into difficulty. He gets it to his brother Dermot, Dermot has it out near the side of the field, he gives it back to Brendan, Brendan back to Dermot, Elfin not making much headway but pulling onto the ball now, it gets back into Brady and the Brady gets it by his man and uh, he feeds it on to Louis Dockery, Louis Dockery has the ball now on the run, he has a bit of space in front of him, Louis Dockery going for it, he goes to take his shot, it's curling in, 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 but unfortunately he doesn't curl it up and the ball goes wide, Louis got two good points in the first half. Just off target with that one point, and Finn could well have done with us. There's now four points between the sides. Liam Dockery is entering the fray for a Finn, going over to the referee and uh, giving his name. And he is uh, replacing Liam Butler, I think, over on the far side. Liam uh, appears to be the one making way as uh, Liam Dockery comes in. Now, Phelan O'Neill is ready to take this kick out, and again, 9 points to 5 in front, and badly do a goal at this stage of the game. Out it comes, Ross Callaghan knocks it down, Brian Higgins racing after it, but I think the clan defence are equal to this one, as uh, it comes away out here with the number 2, Niall Lennon, Niall Lennon kicking it up, it's very near the sideline, the referee uh, judges that there's a foul on the Clannie Gale man, and it is a free for Clannie Gale, which is going to be taken by number 8, David O'Neill. David O'Neill kicks it across the field there to, towards Martin Keener coming out to it. Martin, who has uh, been causing all kinds of difficulties for the Elfin defence, he gets it to number 12, David Henry. David Henry uh, plays it back to Enon Gavin. Enon Gavin uh, has the ball. Two Elfin men converge on him. Uh, they don't foul him, however. Uh, he gets it uh, to David Henry again. David Henry uh, weaving around in circles there as he gets the ball out as far as Daniel Harney. Daniel Harney uh, going forward there. Uh, he plays the ball back. Uh, Certainly the Elfin uh, defence holding fairly firm to these Fanny Gale fellas. Uh, and uh, eventually Clanny Gale get a shot in and goes, this is from Daniel Harney, Daniel Harney gets it in uh, across the goal, it looks uh, to be going to Sherlock over on this side, Sherlock has the ball, uh, he's been kept out by Brendan Neary, now he gets inside him, gets the ball across and Dermot Neary intercepts in front of his own goals, in a great sweeper roll there for Elfin, and uh, certainly doing very very well, but he kicks the ball, his kick is a bad one, his kick comes out over the sideline, trying to find his man and place him, but uh, his uh, accuracy let him down and the ball goes over the sideline, that's a line ball for Clanny Gale. We have about uh, 
Eight minutes left in this game as Clanny Gale hold on to a four point lead, beginning to look a little bit comfortable and assured of themselves in the last few minutes. And that's certainly a dangerous sign uh, for Elfin as uh, Elfin got the relief of a free kick out which Martin Burke is about to take. Martin is coming down towards the sideline, appears to be going towards the sideline, but it's put out over the sideline uh, by the uh, Clanny Gale man that's the number five party fight, and it is uh, a sideline ball for Elfin. And it's taken by Neary, down the side of Roddy. Roddy is fouled and it's a free for a pin. He takes it quickly as far as Louis Dockey. Louis Dockey has the ball. And uh, he's uh, weaving his way one way or the other. He gets it across there. Tried to get across to David Townsley. It was a bad ball. And uh, it's cleared out to safety on the far side of the field. Cleared and gone, they a challenging for the ball uh, with his uh, marker. His marker is David Henry. Rossi Callaghan is now chasing David Henry. Uh, David Henry is on the ground. He hasn't been fouled. He's up again and he feeds it across here to Enon Gavin. Enon Gavin has the ball in the centre there. He distributes it out as far as Fergal Shine. Fergal Shine has it now. Fergal Shine making a run on goals. Martin Burke is goal side and Fergal Shine takes a good looking kick across the goal. It hits the cross, it hits the upright and it goes in over the bar. A fine point by Fergal Shine. It makes the margin now five points. Clanagale ten points, Elfin five. And that gap is becoming a, a fairly broad one. Ball's fed down there. It gets past uh, Ben Horn. Uh, David Tanzi tries to feed it to Raymond Horn, but he gives a very, very bad ball indeed. Puts, uh, they are all kinds of trouble. Clanny Gale come away again. Elfin beginning to look tired team at this stage as uh, Clanny Gale uh, half backs are pressing forward. That's Daniel Harney. Ball comes to Enon Gavin. Enon Gavin uh, takes a shot, a high one. It's not going to quite reach its target, but it is in a dangerous position. It gets in there in front of number seven. Number seven uh, gets the ball. I think Martin got a hand to it again, and it's gone out for a 45. Danger for the Elfin defence again, but. Uh, I think uh, Morgan certainly uh, got a finger to that one and it got out and it went out off number two, Martin Burke eventually. And it's another 45 for Clanny Gale. The gap remains at five points. Clan 10 points, Elfin five. And with about six minutes plus injury time left in this game. Sherlock again to take the 45. And Order one from this position after the penalty save a few moments ago. Hoping he can do the same now. Here comes Sherlock. This one appears to be going wide, and this one is gone wide, gone out to the right. And Morgan very, very quickly places the ball in order to get out. Uh, it comes in, and uh, Dermot Neary careful to let the ball come past the 21 before he uh, picks it up, and then he clears it down the field. Brian Higgins is watching on to this one. Brian Higgins gets the ball very well. Very well fielded by Brian Higgins, uh, making a run on goals here now, Saldos is after him. Uh, Brian feeds the ball, feeds it badly then, and Daniel Harney has been very well over on that wing uh, for Clanny Gale. Uh, comes away with it again. Brian Higgins is the first half well, the pass wasn't up to it after that as the ball comes out to the middle of the field. And Fergal Shine trade to Enon Gavin. Enon Gavin with a lot of room around at this stage now as Elfin are obviously tiring in the last few minutes. Gavin feeds it across there to Martin Keane at the full forward. Uh, he goes past uh, Joe Burke and he gets the ball for David Henry. David Henry has it. He's going to take a pot shot at the goals and his pot shot is going straight over the bar there. A point to David Henry and now the gap is six points. Lanny Gale 11 points. Elfin 5 and it appears with uh, just five minutes to go that there's hardly any way back from Elfin from here. Jerry Gunn making his entry into the fray. Elfin's third sub. Last throw of the dice. He makes his way over to Seamus Regan. <laughs> Making his way into the full forward position that looks like David Tanzi is coming out. Eleven points to five. Brian Morgan picks the ball out. But it is taken there by Nocton for Tanny Gale. He gets it uh, forward, back to Nocton again. Plays the ball up now here. Spurgill Shine comes out with Martin Bork is out along with him. Shine has the ball in possession. He gets it across. Clan not playing their possession game. Nocton kicks it over into the far corner there. A chase between Tom McDermott and uh, the number 15, David O'Neill. David O'Neill feeding the ball in out to David Henry. David Henry is going in and goals. David Henry fists the ball and fists it over the bar. Another point for Clanny Gale and it's beginning to look all so easy over the last few minutes as Clanny Gale now mount a total of 12 points and in response Elfin have only 5. 12 points to 5, Clanny Gale now dominant in most sectors of the field at this stage. Ball paid out, short to Dermot Neary. Dermot Neary delivers over towards the far side there, Liam Gockery, 